a still gathering strength and moving at about 15 miles an hour, is once again changed course and reported headed for the eastern end of the Dominican Republic. In brief, beer and wine tax receipts were up for the nine months ending in June, according to the IRS. The total alcoholic beverage tax Hi there. I'm sorry I'm late. Caster had more problems than a one-legged tap dancer. That's Caroline doing. About the same. The doc says that no change is good sometimes, I don't know. Well, you have to eat good time. I guess I just don't have a choice. You like eating? Sure. Come on. Booting will get you nothing. And eating will get me fat. That's true. So when I asked him why someone was trying to kill him, he said what he was working on might prove that this building could be a disaster in a hurricane. Oh, my goodness. And you think he's qualified to make such a statement? Very qualified. Probably the best there is. Oh, well, then that's it. That's what? Your evidence against Mr. Lees. What are you talking about? Matteo, Carlo. Am I talking to a bambino? Sam's expertise, of course. If what he says is true, then this Mr. Lee has committed many crimes to get this place built, huh? You're probably right. I'm probably right, and you'll prove it, too. Well, I have no choice. I've got to do something. Oh, I have waited much time to drive a staple into Mr. Lee's heart. Not stake, my love, not stake. Whatever. Just so it hurts. Well, what it boils down to is very simple, Lee. This building would probably go into Category 2 hurricane. In the Category 3, it's a dead certainty you could write this place off. Ma, 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 me. I don't understand. What is this Category 2 or Category 3? A hurricane is a tropical storm in excess of 75 miles an hour. Now, that's a number one. A two is over 100 miles an hour. A three, over 130. And there are still two higher categories, right? Right. There's a four, which is 150 and a five, which is 165. It sounds frightening. What do we do? Well, you can get out of here, or else spend a couple million dollars reinforcing this building and building yourself a seawall. Why a seawall if the wind could knock this building down? Well, it's not the wind that's the problem. It's the reaction it has on the water. Now, the bottom out there curves up very fast, and that compression will cause a wave surge, and a 100-plus wind with no barrier to break up that wave surge Will it take this building out like it was made out of cardboard? I see. How long did it take to build a seawall? Well, we might have the time. What about the money, Lee? Most of the owners of these condominiums can't afford to move, let alone build a seawall. Marty Les could do it. Ma cosa? I would like to see that day. Well, maybe you will. After all, we know he bribed someone in order to build this condo in the first place. Well, you can believe that. Now all you have to do is prove it. All right, we sue them, get our money back, or make him make this place safe. That seems to be the extent of our options. And that would be my Enrique's job, to prove that there was funny business. He's very good at things like that. Non è, non è vero? My favorite fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, Henry, if anyone can do it, I think you can. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. The least I can do is try to match Sam and Barbara's achievements. Oh, oh don't include me in that. All I did was make notes. Come on. You helped a lot, Barbara, and you learned very quickly. Who did what doesn't matter. It's the results that count, and you produced them. Right. Now, how about lunch? Who wants one of my famous grilled cheese and tomato sandwiches? I think we're all ready, don't I? Uh, maybe a bottle or two of Chablis. Ah, right. yes, now you're playing with sunshine. Uh, Cara, uh, boy, can you do you, do I help. I help you. You bet. Yes. Yeah, help. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. You can uh, can slice this up. The knife's in the drawer right there. The drawer. Oh, poverino, mangia che te fa conto. Don't let Duffy Mochi's a total pig. Oh. He doesn't look it. That's um, uh, his one very attractive package. Hmm. I suppose so. You only suppose. That's pretty vague, considering the lights that shine whenever you look at each other. 
Lights? What are you talking about? Oh, Barbara, we are women. No, and women shouldn't try to, uh, what's the motion, uh, snow each other, especially where men are concerned. But I really don't know what you're talking about. Then I'll make it sparkling clear. One should have to be blind not to see that you and Sam are uh, uh, very much, uh, how should I say, uh, very much vibrating together. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm happily married. Who speaks of marriage? Are you implying that I sleep around? <gasps> My Barbara, would I say a thing like that? <laughs> Never. I only meant that uh, if you ever need a sympathetic ear, uh, mine is always available. <laughs> well, thanks. But fortunately, that hasn't and won't become a problem. Well, then, uh, conceited business, uh, completely chiuso, tutto finito, closed. However, the next time you go researching, and you find yourselves behind some dusty bookshelves, give him a squeeze for me. <laughs> <laughs> report I've got, they're counting the dead at Santa Domingo and estimating the dead at Port-au-Prince. God, I hope she doesn't turn this way. We interrupt this program to bring you the latest report on Hurricane Ella. Satellite photographs show this latest storm is now moving slowly northward and is, at the moment, just south of Cuba. Her future track is still a matter of speculation. Please stay tuned to the station for further details. say ain't a question. It's a fact. I don't believe one lousy word of this garbage. Oh, Frank, please. Shut up, Doris. As far as I'm concerned, this is just some scheme you cooked up to scare us out of our apartments. Well, now, Frank, why would we want to do that? Sure, you could buy them up cheap, of course, and then sell them at a profit to some unsuspecting slob who can't see through you the way I do. That makes sense. That's the first thing you ever said that makes sense. Look. Look, hold it down, everybody. You'll all get your chance to talk. Sam, you want to answer that? Well, it makes sense, Mr. Bramhammer. I can't deny that. Yeah, but uh, is it true? The accusation or the report? <laughs> the accusation is false. The report is true. If that's so, and I'm not saying it is, Silver Sands could be a corner. That's exactly right. Listen, listen, people, that is bull. People, bull. Frank, please. Shut up, Doris. As I said before, I see through your little scheme. And let me tell you, mister, if you or anybody else sticks any more junk like this under my door, I'll bust some heads. Now, come on, Doris, let's get out of this ant farm. But, Frank... Doris, come on. Look, when I say I want to leave, let's leave. Don't hang back. Quiet, everybody. Quiet, everybody. Quiet. Quiet. Look, Frank's entitled to think whatever he wants, but that doesn't alter anything. Mr. Harrison's report is a, an expert opinion, but the big point is that we can prove that Marty Liss knew the danger in building here, and that he paid off someone to get the necessary permits, then we have grounds for a lawsuit. Uh, you mean Sue Marlis Corporation? Exactly. That takes a lot of money. Yeah. How are we going to prove that Liss bribed anyone, if in fact he did? We'll prove it. Don't worry about that. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. This is a closed meeting for owners only, right? Right. right. And what's she doing here? I mean, she works for Liss. Right. She... I'll get her out. Hold it, Ames. Hold it. I'll leave if you prefer, Mr. Carver. I think that might be best. I would just like to say one thing, if I may. 
Silver Sands may or may not be safe. I really don't know. But had I known that it was unsafe, I would never have sold one single solitary unit. And that's the God's honest truth. All right. All right, now we're supposed to be discussing a lawsuit against the Marley's Corporation. Dave? Okay, uh, so let's say we sue. For the sake of expediency, let's be really optimistic and say we win the suit. Okay, big deal. Getting a decision might take months, even years. In the meantime, what happens to us? Just suppose that the county believes this report and condemns this building. Well, we'd all have to move. Well, I, for one, have no place to go. You see, Mr. Harrison, I can't raise the money to buy somewhere else. Nor can we. Me neither. The same goes for most of oh, us. Oh, but surely we can all find a place to rent. I mean, w while we're awaiting the decision, and then when the court gives us our money... And if Mr. Liss uh, finds a way to go bankrupt and we get a few pennies on the dollar, what happens then, Mrs. Messenger? Then we're out of our apartments with nothing to show for it. Well, this is a chance that we all have to take, isn't that so? Oh, well, that's easy for you to say, Mrs. Churchbridge. Money isn't one of your problems. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. When a hurricane does strike here, you're gonna lose everything anyway. If a hurricane strikes, don't you mean? Yes, Sig's right. Since a hurricane hasn't hit here, and that is a major hurricane, in 20 years, I'd say it's a pretty big if at that. Yeah, there have been hurricanes here before, and there hasn't been that much damage. Yeah, and this building wasn't built here then either. No, look, we appreciate your good intentions, but I think I speak for most of the other owners when I say that this report here is at best purely conjecture. What might happen if we get hit by a hurricane, but if we try to do anything about it, then we might all have to leave, move away from pleasant surroundings, and at a financial loss that very few of us can afford. Dave is right. We lose our investment here, and we end up with nothing. Some kind of alternative, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, listen to me a minute. I hear what you're saying, and I understand your dilemma. Hell, I'm one of you. But surely, life is more important than money. When people are living on a fixed income, Mr. Garver, life is money. Why is this a bunch of garbage? All I want you to do, Marty, is tell me if it's true. Of course it's not true. Oh, come on, Drew. Do you really think for one minute that I'd put people into a building that wasn't safe? You might. The price was right. Oh. Oh, when did you suddenly get so self-righteous, huh? Well, when? I read Sam Harrison's report. That's what That one? Look, I've done my share of the dirty work, too, if that's what you mean. Yeah, and you slept pretty softly for it, too, didn't you? True. I won't deny that money is very high on my list. But there are limits, Marty. Hey, listen. I've been building buildings up and down this coast for many years now. Nothing big, but making a nice living about it, too, see? Now, all of a sudden, I get a call from Miami for me to handle this operation. Now, you don't argue with those boys. They want results. And you gave it to them, didn't you? Well, what are you going to do about it now? Oh, for God's sakes, what do you want me to do about it? The building is built, the apartments are sold, Miami's out, I'm out. What the hell can I do about it now? You can get Sam Harrison in here, or somebody like him, and find out what kind of protection can be added, like seawalls, for example. Oh, yeah? And who do you think is going to pay for it? Listen, it's not my problem any longer. It's the homeowner's problem. And that's it? Yeah, that's it. Or would you rather have me call Miami and ask him to cough up with a couple of million bucks? Is that what you'd like me to do, huh? Well, no way, baby. No way! Thanks, Marty. Thanks for what? For giving me the answer I needed. Hey, you. Hey, what the hell are you talking about anyway, huh? I'm quitting. Oh, no, honey, you ain't gonna quit. Really? You just watch me, darling. <laughs> Hi, 
Uh-oh. Hey, who pulled your tail? That louse. Me? Marty? That's right. It's over. Finito. You mean you quit? Yes. Why? Because he stuck those people in a building that's going to come down around their ears cold. That's why. What people? What are you talking about, Drew? I'm talking about Silver Sands. Marty knew it was unsafe when he built it. But do you think he cares about a few measly lives? No way. Not the great Marty Liss. He's too busy adding up his bank account. Where'd you get the idea that Silver Sands was unsafe? From Sam Harrison's report. And I'll tell you something else, Cole. As bad as Marty is, you're worse. What do you mean? You built the condo, didn't you? Sure I did. Uh-huh. And you knew it was unsafe. That's not true. Oh, I may cut corners here and there. What contractor does it? Half the so-called earthquake-proof buildings in California aren't up to safety standards. But as far as deliberately endangering people's lives, no way. I don't know, Cole. Sure you do. What you're implying makes me out to be no better than a murderer. You can't think I'm that, can you? Today, I don't know what I believe, Cole. Listen, now, you just don't worry yourself. Now, uh, now that you're free and clear, Marty, why don't you and me go and have a drink someplace, huh? You're not wasting any time, are you? Why should I? You know I've always liked you. A lot. Now that you and Marty are history. No, no, no. Okay, Drew. Talk about it some other time, huh? Front for the mob. You sure about that, Drew? Well, I was there all the way. I wonder why mobsters would want to own the silver sand. Well, the boys need legitimate enterprises to launder their dirty money through. So they form dummy corporations. And they hire guys like Marty List to front for them. What about you? Did I work for the mob, you mean? Well, I worked for Marty. And I certainly knew where my salary was coming from. Sorry about that, darling. I wish it weren't true. But uh, today isn't my day for lying. Anyway, I'm through with all that now. That's why I'm telling you all this, to rinse out my conscience, so to speak. Well, I'm glad that you're through with Liz. I was hoping you'd say that. Why? Don't you know why? You can mean a lot to me. A whole lot. And I guess what I'm hoping for more than anything right now is that there's a possibility that we can... True. I'm flattered. No involvement, huh? I'm sorry if I ever gave you any feeling that it could be any different. You didn't, though. I was hoping it's all. Well, I've got to get going. I've got some packing to do. You're moving out? Yeah. Uh, as the man said, what list giveth, he can taketh away. Where will you go? I don't know exactly. I've got a girlfriend in uh, Fort Lauderdale. I'll go down there, spend a couple of weeks, straighten my brain out. It's a nice place. They're all nice places, Gus Darlin. And you're with the right person. You take care. You know, your wife is a lucky lady.
son-in-law. It's your mother. Hello, sweetheart. What can I do for... <laughs> no, 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 Mother, of course not. How could you be a nuisance? Well, I know how busy you are, dearest. Mother, will you stop it? I enjoy hearing from you. You know that. Now tell me all about why you called. What? No, no, go on. Uh, are you positive about that? No, no, I believe you, Mother. It, no, it's just that... Well, look, I'll tell you what. Just get into the car and drive to the mainland. I'll have somebody meet you at the airport and fly you directly here. No, 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 not tomorrow. Today. Now. Mother, please do what I ask. Yes, I love you too, sweetheart. Bye. You know what she just told me? They had a meeting of the owners of the condo, and according to a report written by some guy named Harrison, Silver Sands is some kind of disaster, ready to collapse at the first big wind. How could that happen? According to Liss, it was supposed to be strictly Class A construction. Well, apparently Mr. Liss was shading the truth and the specifications. Making a little on the side. Him and the contractor. I don't like getting taken, fellas, not one little bit. And to do that to my mother. My mother was living in that place. You want him hit? But good. But what about the Harbor Point project? Never heard of it. We're in this thing to make money, not waves. That kind of heat we don't need. So it's goodbye, Mr. Liss. I'd advise against that. Look, Mr. Conlaw, if anything does happen, we're going to need a fall guy, right? So we just leave him there for the law to find. Someone they can throw the book at and go away happy. He's right, but we better cut all ties to him immediately. We just leave him there to dangle. Do it. slow her down and then blast up into the gulf and hit full force right about here. Want to start evacuating? No, not yet. I don't want to make that decision until I'm absolutely forced to. You think there's still a chance she could swing to the east, dissipate out in the ocean? Well, that's what I'm praying for. She's unstable as hell and as remote as that chance is, yeah, it's better than asking thousands of people to pack up and run for nothing. Come on in. Hi, Barbara. Lee and Henry are in the den. Where's Duffy? Oh, he's at the vet's getting a flea bath. I took him in this morning. I bet he loves that. Hi, Sam. Listen to this. And Ella has now changed course twice. The latest report indicates she will move into the Gulf sometime tomorrow. That will almost certainly mean she will hit land. The only question that remains is where Ella will come ashore. Latest reports indicates that her winds are in excess of 125 miles per hour and building. These oh, strong God. winds from the south are pushing the water levels very yeah. high in the Gulf. And if it swings north, we won't be worrying about other people's expect. problems. And if the hurricane passes their locations, the winds will shift and the water will pile up against the shoreline, creating dangerous and considerable. Mr. Liss is in it. He is to me, honey. Will you tell me what the hell's going on? Nothing. I'm just busy, that's all. Mm-hmm. Staring out the window? You ever hear of thinking? Yeah, I heard of worrying, too. What have I got to worry about? Oh, nothing. Just the condo meeting, the Harrison report. I figure if the law doesn't get us, Miami will. And if they don't, Ella might. That's not funny. Not even coming from you, Cole. Yeah, well, these aren't funny times, Marty. Yeah, well, these times are getting better. 
Not before they get worse. Hey, listen, did you come over here to cheer me up? Because if you did, it's not working. I came here, old buddy, to collect what you owe me. You'll get paid at the end of the project, just like always. Don't try to snow a snower, Marty. That Harbor Point project's down the tubes, and you know it. I don't know what you're talking about. Neither does Miami. Then they're not as smart as I always thought they were. I'll prove it to you. I'll get them on the phone. You're bluffing the wrong guy, Marty. Yeah, well, we'll see. Marilyn, get Miami, will you please? You'll see. What do you mean, disconnected? Are you sure you got the right number? Like I said, down the tubes. Must be a mistake. And you made it. Sully, yeah. Yeah, Sully will know. Disconnected? Now, can I have my money? There ain't no money. Do you want to slide that by me again? Miami's been creaming a profit out of the corporation. They, they've just been giving me expense money. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I thought you were smarter than that. What now? I don't know. I can't get Miami on the phone. I, uh, I'm out of business. I'm busting. Well, I guess it's time to bail out. You better do the same. Before this bucket of worms bust wide open and they nail you for bribery, faulty construction, and... Marty? Marty, are you listening to me? Sure. I'll see you around, huh, Cole? Sure, Marty. Take it easy, huh? Give me to all radio and TV stations immediately. Tell them to get it on the air as soon as possible so everyone will have adequate time to evacuate. All right? Yes, sir. Right away. choice but to evacuate immediately. Exactly the same thing. Baloney. 
Uh, everyone who's going to evacuate, move over to this side of the room. This side of the room. We're not evacuating. We're staying. This side of the room. We're staying. Hurry up. That's right. Everybody here. Everybody come over here. A little rain. I have I have a hurricane checklist for you. You need water purification tablets, battery radios, emergency flashlights, candles, our first aid kits. Look, you people, Mr. Churchbridge is right. This is no time to take chances. Now, even if this building doesn't come down, you're still going to be safer on the mainland. She's right. She's absolutely right. Tom, Dave, come on, everybody. I know how hard it is for you to leave everything behind you, but you could be putting your life on the line. Forget it, Gus. I told you, Mrs. Forrester and I, we're staying. And what's more, we're gonna give a hurricane party. <laughs> Great idea. We had one back in 69. It wasn't as wild as ours. <laughs> uh, never mind that. Hey, Tom, is everyone invited? Of course everyone's invited. Let's go. yourself and your wife. No, 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 they need discipline. They, they, need, they need to have discipline. You're the manager here, Julian. Talk to them. Explain it to them. Shut up, you little jerk. No. No, 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 wait. Come along, Brooksy. Audrey, I tried. I tried very, very hard, but they won't listen. What they really need is discipline. I know, honey. I know, but it's all right. You did the best you could. And if they won't listen, there's nothing you can do about it. do and just let all that work itself out mm -hmm. in the meantime he'll uh, just take it step by step you know i'm really afraid to do this i know come on laurie let's get back get our butts out what's going on here I'll wait for you in the hall, honey. What she means, she'll wait in the hall, honey. Julian, I'm leaving. What? But with Bobby, not you. We're through, Julian. It's over. Lori, that's crazy. Bye, Julian. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, it's no use, Julian. Don't say that. I'm not going to let you go. And how do you propose to stop me? Lori, honey, can't we talk it over? Julian, no. We don't have anything to talk about. Now, please, let me go. All right, get out of here. Who needs you? Lousy damn broads. Better off without him. Julian, what are you doing? Julian, what are take you and Lee to the hospital. I hope you don't mind my not staying, but Carrie might be needing me. If she doesn't, Dr. Castor certainly will. Oh, we'll be there, Gus. Now, don't worry. But we're all packed. All I've got left to do is transmit some messages and then shut the system down. It won't take long. Now, you, you drive carefully, okay? See you in town. Bye-bye.
we leave here? Well, we could always stay. And ride it out with our little treasures. No. Things are things no more. Easy for an aristocratic Italian to say. Easier, not easy. Besides, it's a together decision. It's not mine alone. True. Then please, let's not dilly-dilly anymore. That's uh, dilly-dally, my love. No, no, no. Whatever, let's go. I was just thinking. In spite of everything, we've had a pretty good life here. Oh, darling. Darling, don't you know? Wherever we go, the two of us, we'll have a good life together. I always did like your thinking, madam. Attention? Oh, sure. As a matter of fact, sir, this is your lucky day. You see, all our stores have an overabundance of attention. And uh, am I a favorite customer? Oh, believe me, sir. You are our most favorite customer. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get a move out. It's getting pretty wild out there. Can you make it, Lee? Let me help you, Lee. That's the pair I have. Too much choice, does it? What about your things? Just leave them here as a an offering to the gods, you might say. <laughs> Hurry up, Barbara. Yeah. As your sheriff, I urge you to evacuate immediately. Ellis winds are over 140 miles an hour, and there's no way she can miss us now. So please, please evacuate. And remember, pull all your main switches when you leave your homes. Turn off all pilot lights and turn off any bottled gas or underground tanks in the main valve. Pick up all loose things around yards and in compounds. We also urge you to use caution on the highway. The heavy winds and high tides have caused several roads to be blocked by fallen trees and other debris. Leave me. See you around, Frank. <laughs> 
Clear, Cole. It's just that I don't think this is the time of... To what? We're in no hurry. Besides, there's about 200 cars all jammed up from here to the causeway. We've got at least an hour before we can even try to get out here. I'm serious. Don't worry. we got just enough time for a picnic. What? A picnic. Hell, I got enough food on here to last us for a week. Now, let's see what we got here. out there. Oh. Only way out of here now is by boat. Boat? Yes? Don't worry about me. I can make it. Oh, God, Lee. I don't know. Well, unfortunately, it's our only chance. This whole key's gonna be ten feet underwater real soon. I agree. Besides, the doctor told me I was gonna die in bed, darling. Remember? Oh, that's not funny, Lee. I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry, honey. I just... I just feel so damn helpless. Well, join the club. All agreed on taking the boat? Agreed.
afraid. Well, it's going to get a lot rougher from here on out. You think you can make it? Well, it looks like it's letting up. Can't we wait for a while? Well, don't let that fool you, Barbara. We're just in the lee of the condo. It's going to get a lot worse before it passes. Well, you better give me a stiff shot before we start. I don't want to hold you two up. We'll do it now. The water's starting to rise.
just fine. There's nothing to worry about. I've got 30 years training in the bank just for this kind of thing. Now you just take it easy. I'll be back soon. Okay? Pinned under a fallen tree. Get her to X ray. Hurry. Dr. Rogers needed in surgery. Dr. Rogers needed in surgery. <laughs> Dr. Mayer. Volunteer from Venice Hospital are here, sir. Where do you want us deployed? Bear off and check with the duty nurse on East Floor and help out wherever you can. Thanks for coming. It's our pleasure, sir. Come on, come on. Notify whatever stations are still broadcasting that several small tornadoes have spun off Ella and are causing extensive damage inland. Yes, that's right. And tell the newscasters to, to emphasize that it's impossible to stand up outdoors and that no one should leave from wherever they are. Right. Please, thanks. About as bad as it can get, huh? 
I'm afraid not. This just came in. Nothing is moving in all of Palm County where horrendous casualties are reported. Oh, my God. Massive tidal surge is due to hit Fiddler Key at any moment. You're making me sick. It's not me that's swaying, Davy. It's you. <laughs> me? Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Wow. <laughs> well, it must be the building. Get back! Get back! Oh! 